Have you ever wondered what keeps the planets in orbit or why everything doesn't just float away into space? In the 1700s, Isaac Newton revolutionized our understanding of the universe with his groundbreaking insights into gravity. He observed the movements of celestial bodies, from apples falling from trees to the moon orbiting the Earth, and proposed that every object with mass attracts every other object. This universal law of gravitation seemed to elegantly explain why planets follow specific paths around the Sun, yet Newton himself was troubled by his own conclusions. He grappled with the notion that gravitational forces could act over vast distances, with no apparent medium or immediate connection. How could the Earth pull on the Moon across the vast emptiness of space? This concept of action at a distance confounded Newton and his contemporaries, as it seemed to defy the logic of every known physical law at the time. Newton's laws managed to predict the motion of celestial bodies with remarkable accuracy, yet this invisible force, gravity, remained an enigma. His theory could describe the what, but not the how, setting the stage for future scientists to unravel the mysteries of gravity. While Newton's laws were groundbreaking, they left unanswered questions that puzzled scientists for more than two centuries. Enter Albert Einstein, who didn't just play by the rules of gravity, he rewrote them entirely. At the dawn of the 20th century, Einstein introduced the world to a groundbreaking concept that would change physics forever, the theory of general relativity. This theory proposed a radical idea that gravity is not an invisible force pulling objects together, but rather a curvature of space-time itself, caused by massive objects. Imagine space-time as a fabric stretched out in all dimensions. Now, place a heavy object like a bowling ball on this fabric. You'll notice the fabric warping around the object. This is akin to what happens in the cosmos. Massive celestial bodies such as stars and planets curve the space-time around them. Smaller objects like planets or comets move along these curves, which is perceived as the effect of gravity. At the heart of Einstein's theory are his field equations. These are a set of complex mathematical equations that relate the distribution of matter and energy in the universe to the curvature of space-time. These equations are not just theoretical abstractions, they are precise descriptions that predict the behavior of the universe under the influence of gravity. Through these equations, Einstein showed that the motions of celestial bodies could be predicted by understanding how they influence the curvature of space-time around them. Einstein's insights opened up new ways to perceive the universe. For example, the precise orbit of Mercury, which had puzzled astronomers under Newtonian physics, was perfectly explained by the effects of the curvature of space-time caused by the Sun. This was one of the first triumphs of general relativity, but the implications of Einstein's equations went far beyond just explaining planetary orbits. They suggested that under extreme conditions, space-time could be curved so dramatically that it would close off from the rest of the universe, leading to phenomena such as black holes, a concept that was initially as mind-bending as the theory itself. Einstein's equations didn't just advance our understanding, they expanded the realm of possibility, leading to some of the most bizarre and fascinating predictions in physics. While Einstein provided the map, it was Karl Schwarzschild who unearthed a hidden treasure in the mathematical landscape of general relativity. During the harrowing days of World War I, stationed on the Eastern Front, Schwarzschild, a German astrophysicist, delved into the newly formulated theories of Einstein. Amidst the chaos, he discovered a solution to the complex field equations that describe how mass influences the curvature of space-time. Schwarzschild's solution introduced the world to what we now call the Schwarzschild radius, a concept both elegant and eerie. Picture a sphere around a mass such as a star or a planet, at a certain point, this sphere defines a boundary where the escape velocity equals the speed of light. Within this radius, light itself cannot escape the gravitational pull, rendering the object effectively invisible to the outside universe. This theoretical boundary marked the first concrete step towards the idea of black holes, regions in space where the gravitational pull is so intense that nothing, not even particles or electromagnetic radiation such as light, can escape from it. It was a bold leap from the abstract mathematics to a physical implication that shook the foundations of how we understood the cosmos. Schwarzschild's equations suggested that under the right conditions, a star collapsing under its own gravity could shrink beyond this critical threshold, trapping everything, including light, 
inside an eternal invisible embrace. This concept challenged the very notions of space and visibility and opened up new, unimaginable realms in astronomy. Schwarzschild's discovery posed a radical idea. Could parts of the universe be invisible, trapped behind a point of no return? Initially, the idea of black holes seemed more like science fiction than science fact. The notion that a collapsed star could create a gravitational pull so strong that not even light could escape it was hard to swallow for many in the scientific community. However, the relentless march of physics would soon bring clarity. In the early 20th century, scientists like Subramanian Chandrasekhar took significant strides in understanding the fate of massive stars. Chandrasekhar's calculations showed that beyond a certain mass, known as the Chandrasekhar limit, stars would not be able to support themselves against gravitational collapse through electron degeneracy pressure. This discovery suggested that a massive star's end could indeed be as a black hole. Further cementing this idea were Robert Oppenheimer and Hartland Snyder, who in the 1930s modeled the process of such a collapse in detail. They proposed that beyond the Chandrasekhar limit, a star would continue to collapse into what they termed a singularity, a point where the density is infinite and the laws of physics as we know them cease to function. Einstein himself was skeptical of the idea that a singularity could exist in reality. He believed that some yet unknown laws of physics might intervene to prevent such a catastrophic collapse. Nevertheless, the observational evidence over the years from the orbits of stars around invisible points to the detection of gravitational waves has only reinforced the black hole theory. Today, the event horizon of a black hole, that point of no return beyond which nothing can escape, is a well-established scientific concept. The singularity, though still a subject of intense research and debate, remains one of the most fascinating frontiers in the study of the universe. Black holes went from theoretical curiosities to accepted realities, challenging our perceptions of the cosmos. How do you visualize something that by definition cannot be seen? This is the challenge scientists face when studying black holes, those enigmatic regions of space-time where gravity is so strong that not even light can escape. To explore these invisible phenomena, researchers use unique tools known as space-time diagrams, including the Kruskal Seekers and Penrose diagrams. Space-time diagrams help us visualize the structure of black holes in a way that transcends our usual three-dimensional experience. For instance, the kruskal sheikers diagram represents the entire region of a black hole, including both its exterior and interior. It uniquely illustrates how space-time bends around a black hole, showing paths that light and matter may follow as they approach and sometimes cross the event horizon. On the other hand, the Penrose diagram offers a more comprehensive view, extending the concept to the entire universe. It simplifies the complex relationships of space-time by distorting scales, but preserving the causal relationships between different events. This diagram can depict not only the black hole's event horizon and singularity, but also hypothetical features like wormholes, which might connect far-flung parts of the universe or even different universes altogether. These diagrams do more than just map out celestial mechanics. They also provide a theoretical playground for physicists. By studying these diagrams, scientists can explore the limits of Einstein's theory of relativity and probe the possibilities of phenomena like wormholes and parallel universes. Although these concepts remain speculative and fraught with scientific debate, the diagrams offer a foundation for theoretical exploration and discussion. Through these visual tools, the invisible becomes slightly less so. Black holes transform from incomprehensible voids into structured entities with properties and behaviors that can be mathematically and visually articulated. This not only advances our understanding of the universe, but also fuels the imagination about what lies beyond the observable cosmos. These diagrams not only depict the strange and wondrous nature of black holes, but also serve as crucial tools in the exploration of theoretical physics. From the falling of an apple to the bending of light by the sun, our understanding of gravity has come a long way. Initially grounded in Isaac Newton's tangible laws of motion and universal gravitation, our comprehension of gravity was revolutionized by Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity. Newton introduced the concept that every mass attracts every other mass, a principle that seemed to govern the cosmos. Yet, 
He was puzzled by the invisible force that acted across the vast emptiness of space. Fast forward over two centuries and Einstein reshaped our view by proposing that mass and energy curve the fabric of space-time itself, a far more abstract and encompassing idea than Newton's instantaneous attraction. This radical insight not only explained the peculiar orbit of Mercury, which had baffled astronomers, but also predicted new phenomena such as the bending of light by gravity. The acceptance and expansion of Einstein's theories opened the door to concepts that once seemed purely the realm of science fiction, black holes. These cosmic phenomena where the gravitational pull is so strong that not even light can escape, were first met with skepticism. However, as our mathematical and observational tools improved, the existence of black holes moved from a theoretical curiosity to a scientific consensus. Through the lens of gravity, we continue to explore the deepest mysteries of the cosmos, proving that our quest for knowledge is as boundless as the universe itself.